when you are having a less than impressive performance, as Larry has told us many times, the basic ethic is win this one, look great the next time. You know, and sometimes the, the, the judges, like the crowd, uh, take into account expectations. Yep. And if Martinez doesn't look as good as they expected him or Macklin looks better, how does that measure into the scoring? So Martinez is throwing a little more frequently, landing that straight left hand, trying to seal the deal and make it stick. Macklin, Macklin gets a chance to land his straight right from time to time, and he's landed a couple of clean body shots in this round. Good left hand by Martinez. He's been scraping Macklin with that ever since he made that adjustment you talked about, Emmanuel, throwing the punch a little bit farther to the outside because that's where Macklin's dunking his hand. Yep, and he's, he's been having a picnic with that left hand punch in there. Right now, just like he's mentally and, and, and physically a lot more alert, a lot more energetic. Blood streaming now from above the left eye of Matthew Macklin. <laughs> Martinez can't miss with the straight left hand. Macklin is fighting back, but he's sluggish with everything that he's doing. So there's extra, there's nothing is coming off Chris and, and, and natural. There's an extra effort for everything that he's doing at the stage now. Macklin needs a rally in this round to avoid falling two points down with a round to go, or so it would appear to us. Well, I asked early and before the fight started, is he good enough to expose Martinez? Um, well, he's been good enough to test him and to make some championship quality come out of him late in the fight. I think that's a great assessment. He's actually made Martinez have to dig down for the first time in a long time. There's his left hand again. That looked pretty good. That was pretty doggone good, and that even kept the knockdown score. Six. And that one is truly Eight. stunned. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Quite as big a disappointment now. No, he doesn't really. He doesn't realize that the round, the fight is hey, Matt, still going on. He thinks the fight's over. But the rules is the referee has we're to give a count, even if the bell rings, and even in the final round. So he didn't realize that he thought the fight was over. So the fight is being stopped, Jim. It's a good call. They're going to stop it in Macklin's corner, and Sergio Martinez has another 11th round knockout. Oh, 12th round knockout, Larry. Is that right? It may be a 12th. Is it 11th or 12th? 11th. Okay. Second consecutive 11th round knockout as Harold Letterman clears that up for us. Sergio Martinez, I told you, late knockouts are pretty rare. He's good at it, Emmanuel. I thought he fought a tremendous fight tonight. He made adjustment on his opponent and systematically broke him down. Yeah. Phenomenal, you know, and, phenomenal performance. And as I said, you can strike out three or four times early in the fight, but if you had a home run in the night, you've had a great <laughs> night. And he brought, he needed to do something dramatic, and he did it. He's and entertaining. He gets, you give him the highest marks for that. Harold, do you have a comment? Yeah, Jim, I tell you. You know, you know, I gave him four rounds in a row from 8, 9, 10, and 11. You know, he just knows when to turn it on. He's close fight up until the 8th, but Sergio Martinez turns it on when he has to turn the bottom it Bottom line, after he got knocked down in the 7th, a brilliant rally by Martinez to score yet another dramatic knockout. What a career. Let's take another look. First knockdown. Yeah, we see the first knockdown. Once again, the straight left. He just buries people with that punch. Another angle. Here we see the shot again at this stage right now. Macklin will just finish mentally and physically. And Martinez was just as an alert, mentally and physically, it was in the first round. Second knockdown. 
Another crushing straight left hand. And you saw Macklin's left whiz by Martinez's nose as that punch landed. Too slow. Well, for seven rounds, even more, maybe we talked about the disappointment of Martinez's performance, middleweight champion of the world. Another 11th round knockout is going to look pretty good on the record. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eddie Cotton, after being advised by the challenger's corner, he was unable to continue, calls a halt to the fight at the end of round 11. The winner by TKO victory, and still the universally recognized true middleweight champion of the world, Sergio Maravilla Martinez.